You glad that uh, it's this close? Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's uh, it's been a long camp, but uh, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel now, and uh, we're we're locked in on Hawaii. Jake, what have been what have the countdown weeks, countdown days been like over the past few years, and how, how does this one kind of compare to the past? Uh, they're all they're all kind of they're they're similar and different in their own ways. They're unique in their own ways. Um, you know, the first the first week of camp, you're just going against your defense. You're not really preparing against uh, your opponent's defense yet. But now, uh, you know, leading into that last week, week and a half, two weeks, you start locking in and uh, studying film on your opponent. And that's what we're doing right now. How, in your mind, is the offense shaping up? What are the things that you think you'll really do well? Man, uh, it's 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 coming together real nice right now. Um, we we got a lot of guys that have been making plays all camp. Um, the line's been coming on strong. Uh, that's an experienced group. We've had some young guys stepping up. Uh, Grant Perry's been having an amazing camp. Chris Evans is making plays left and right. Uh, it's unbelievable to see these guys. So it's it's coming together real nice. Speaking of the young guys, uh, as far as your room's concerned, how have uh, Tyrone Wheatley and uh, Zach Gentry been doing? Uh, yeah, they're, they've both been doing pretty good. They've both been having a really good camp. Uh, you know, they're they're both you know, specializing in different things. Obviously, Zach's more of a receiving tight end. Wheatley's more of a blocking tight end. And, you know, they've taken on that role. And uh, from the beginning of camp to where they are now, it's uh, they've made some big strides. The fact that you had an entire year at spring ball, do you feel way more comfortable now than you did a year ago? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that I, I, I feel necessarily more comfortable, but I think probably for some of the younger guys or guys that didn't get a lot of the reps last year, they're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable because they're getting a better understanding of the offense and the way the coaches work where, you know, if you play a little bit more, that, that comes a little bit sooner. You said one of the reasons that you came back for your senior year was the fact that you still had a lot of improvements to make. What have been those improvements that you've made in the last, you know, six months? Whatever? Yeah, um, cleaning up some things on my route running. Uh, I don't want to, I want to win on every single route, and that's my goal, unless my job is to, you know, take some guys with me. I want to win, and I think I've been doing a good job. It helps when you got uh, Delano Hill and Jabril Peppers manned up on you right on the line, you know, every single play this whole entire camp. So. I don't really see it getting any harder than that this season. But uh, blocking has been the biggest area of improvement for me. Just technically, uh, pad level, I've added some strength this offseason, uh, you know, made some changes with my body. So that, that's been the biggest uh, area of improvement. When your assignment's to go out there and block Jabril, how is it different from blocking a normal Sam linebacker? Mm -hmm. uh, he's just as strong as probably any Sam linebacker. I mean, he's, he's really, really strong and explosive, but he's, he adds just such a quickness and speed element to it. As well, that you got to, you know, you got to take into account. Can you get the quarterback race for us? Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody's doing really good, but uh, there's a dark horse in the battle. Eric Magnuson's really been coming on strong <laughs> towards the end of camp. He's hitting the deep balls really well. Coaches are really impressed with him. Did he pay you to say that? No, it's just, you know, I mean, we just, you turn on the film and you can just see him popping up <laughs> each and every day. What have you seen the differences between John and Wilton, basically between the beginning of camp and, and to now? I mean, they both, they both make great strides, and it's just, They've both been coming on. I'm better looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've both just been coming into their own a little bit. Um, just getting more familiar with us as a receiving group, uh, the line, the protections. Uh, I mean, you spend, you come in here at six in the morning and you don't leave till about nine at night. You know, there's going to be a, an improvement in a lot of areas. So um, they, they both made some great strides. Even if you don't want to say who it is, do you have a feel for who the starting quarterback will be? Uh, I really don't. I really don't. I think. Uh, I just kind of go in there most of the time, you know, I just, I'm fo so focused on my job, I don't even realize what's going on, you know. I just kind of worry about my job and leave the quarterback battles up to uh, Coach Harbaugh and Fish and Drevno.